La 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 Land. It's Oscars weekend. Time for Hollywood to give itself a pat on the back and time for the rest of us to be reminded that there is a reason why the movie industry chose Southern California to live and film in. And with the whole of glamorous LA to choose from, they've put me in a box, in a warehouse. Although it is the coolest box I've been in for a while because, spoiler alert, I'm not really in the box. I'm out here and that's virtual me. And it's called Portal. The box itself is real, of course, and the lights inside it provide the illumination for the modified human-sized 4K LCD screen on the front. This can show pre-recorded video or live images of some loon messing about in front of a camera. What am I doing over there, though? What, what's he doing? The same? Oh, yeah, of course. And I have to say, I am impressed. I figured out all these reasons why somebody might not want to do a hologram, and I've eliminated all those reasons. So that's why we developed this. And David's right. While I've certainly had some fun with so-called holograms over the years, they've all needed huge setups with precisely placed projectors, enormous pieces of semi-reflective glass or giant meshes, and pretty dark environments to allow the images to stand out. This one, though, is compact, portable, and really bright. First things first, these are not holograms. You know what I think about the term hologram, but these are the most realistic not holograms I think I've ever seen. The key is that this bit of the screen is transparent, so if the camera moves to the left and the right, you can see the backgrounds move behind the character, and it really gives you that feeling that they really are there, that this is a 3D image. The small piece of reflective floor and the shadow of the performer are also captured and sent to the booth, something that really adds to the realism. Yeah. It's a thumbs up from me, really. <laughs> He's not too happy, though. Oh, yeah, he is. Send in the clouds. With the Joker leading the Oscar pack this weekend with 11 nominations, it's not hard to see how the right kind of character inside one of these devices could have a film's marketing department going nuts. I'd like to see every cardboard cutout standee in every movie theater lobby replaced with a hologram portal. I'd like to go to a museum and then Hologram Einstein uh, asks me what question I have for him. Or I could beam the next president of the United States from his or her own campaign office into all 50 states at the exact same time with the ability to hear, see, and interact with the audience that they're beaming in front of in real time. And David has another project on the go, which is not live. Pretty much exactly the opposite, in fact. One of the most famous things about the hologram industry is bringing back the dead, digital resurrections. Guys like Tupac and now Whitney and, you know, these are people that all never gave their consent while they were alive, but they've all become super famous holograms uh, in death. And what we're doing is we filmed about a half a dozen of the world's most famous icons while they're alive so that they could do the performance that they want to do. They hold the microphone the way they hold the microphone. They sing the songs the way they want to sing the songs. It's not a body double and a CGI head. It's really them. It makes it less macabre, makes it easier for the audience to get behind. And we've stuck them on a hard drive in a cupboard somewhere so that when the time comes, we could then go access that content and then send them on tour. And actually, that idea is where we're going next, because there is currently a trend in resurrecting dead celebrities. The technology exists to put convincing CGI versions of actors into films. And it's raising a lot of issues. 